Hello everyone, welcome back to the Goody Life, where life is good and everything is great. And today's video is a little bit different, I'm calling it a bonus video. It's really fun, so I wanted to share the last live IG video that we did this Saturday. Hi everybody! Hi, hi, hi Charlene, hi, um... Stephanie, welcome Hello. back to quarantine and dine, wine and dine time. How is everybody doing? Hi, hope you guys are having a good Saturday. It's Saturday and this week we're doing an Indian cuisine. So we are making Rogan Josh and then we're going to have some dessert. And we're gonna have a great drink for summertime that we can also make. And we're completely dressed in our Indian attire, which I'll tell you guys a lot more about. And since last week we kind of have this trend where we're doing different meals and we have different music in the background, since today the cuisine is Indian, we have some Indian music in the background. I have the volume at really low because uh, it, it is really loud and I didn't want to disturb the sound, so. But yeah, we can put it on a little louder and dance if needed. <laughs> yeah. Let us know if it's too loud and we will lower it, no problem. Oh yes, my <laughs> and it matches my outfit. I didn't realize that. It's green. I feel like I'm a peacock with this hair. I have had it for a while now. When we went on vacation a few months ago, I did it. So we'll see. I was thinking of doing pink next. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> So let's get started because the meals will take a long time since we're making um, goat. So we'll get started with that. Okay. So Atul will be walking us through how to make the goat, the Rogan Josh. Yeah, so I'm making goat Rogan Josh today. And uh, this is actually one of the very famous uh, recipes. If you go into any Indian restaurants, you know, you'll find uh, goat Rogan Josh. Either goat or lamb, you can make it with any. You know, we have goat here today. Um, so I have goat, uh, I washed it, cleaned it up nicely and then I have some goat kidneys as well because we like that. Um, but what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put some uh, ghee and uh, you know I'm going to uh, heat it up and then I'm going to fry all the uh, goat in here. This is a pressure cooker, uh, you know uh, it cooks the goat real quickly, uh, not I mean still maybe like a 45 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And then we can, you know, so I'm putting in some ghee here. It smells really good. Uh, we have. Hold on, my wife is getting adventurous with the camera. So let me do it like that. You know, that way you guys can see what I'm making as well, as well yes. as, uh, you know, you can yeah. see me too. Okay, good. That's right. better. That's much better. Yeah. So let the oil heat up. Um, meanwhile, what I can do is I can put the rice up. So I have the, I soaked the rice already. I have it all good. I'm just going to put it in the rice cooker. I have around a cup and a half of basmati rice. And I'm going to put it in the rice cooker. So this meal goes really well with rice or naan. You can even also have it with roti, either one, but we're making both today. So the rice is really easy to make. You can just wash some rice, add some water to it, and you put in a pressure um, a rice cooker and you have rice going. And we have the ghee going right now here. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna put the meat in. Uh, you know, I want to nicely like fry it out. Uh, and as you can hear the sear. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This actually is a very simple recipe. Um, you know, as, as we progress, you'll see that as compared to any of the other recipes where we have a lot of onions and um, tomatoes and yogurt, this doesn't have none of that. This curry, uh, it, it is from uh, the state of Kashmir uh, in India, and this really doesn't need any of those. You know, there's just uh, some of the masalas and uh, the good stuff is the lamb uh, or the goat yeah and you mentioned they don't have onions in here or anything like that right that's what's really good about this you don't have to cry cutting onions <laughs> yes i don't have to cry cutting onions so we're gonna let it 
ISMR hike. And then, yeah, so Goody will, do yeah. you want to show them what yeah, masala they have? Yeah, I'll show them. So while this is frying right now, what you need to do is you're going to have these different dry masala and we actually, you blend them up. So you're going to blend all of them except this one because this we'll put in at the end. So we have some cinnamon, some bay leaf, some cardamom, and what is this one called again? It's called as Dagger Fool. I don't know. It's what called Dagger Fool. I don't know what the actual English translation for that. But yeah, so basically you blend all of these in a container and then I'll show you what it looks like. Give me one second. You can actually show Can you open it? Yeah. And sticks. then it comes out looking like this, the blended version of it. Once you blend that up, it will turn into this powder, so it's like a dry powder. Yeah, and you can, if if not this, you know, you could even get it at Indian stores. I'm sure they have something called as a Robin Josh masala, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the work is done for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can let it fry out for a bit. Uh, this takes a while. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'll I'll do masala for the Robin Josh. So, by the way, if if you guys, I don't know how many of you are Indian, but every Indian household, most of them, we have one of this. So it has all the spices in it already. So we have two of it, one with whole spice and one with grounded spices. So you're going to make your masala now, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, you know, there is there is a few things. Uh, one is uh, Rogan Josh is very famous for the red color that it has. Rogan Josh basically is... Uh, a combination of rogan and josh and rogan means the oil uh, or the you know the layer of oil that comes on the curry and then josh is like a juice or you know hot heat so this curry it needs a good amount of um, kashmiri chili powder this is the chili powder that i have um, it looks really red but it is not as spicy as compared to the regular chili powder so i have that i'm gonna need the other one as well which one the smaller this guy because it has hing in it okay. yeah. here's the other container guys we have two of this in our house yeah because and this is hing so i'm gonna put that as well and then i have my couple of other masalas in here i have uh, some ground fennel which i'm gonna pour in And this ground fennel, you know, it is very unique to this curry. Uh, it gives it a very nice flavor. And then I have some ginger powder as well. So that. And then you don't put any turmeric or anything in this curry. Um, you know, and then... Yep. I'm going to add some... I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to add water to it. And I'm going to make a, uh, you know, a paste out of it. So you add the water and then you bring it back over here. Yep. Smells good over here. Are you cooking something too, Charlene? So you can show them what the paste is like. So yeah, so I added the water, uh, the, the water, and this is like a paste, and it'll go in once the lamb, uh, the goat is cooked a little bit, then it'll go in. So this needs to, the water needs to all dry out here. It's getting a bit steamy, as you can see. You can, yes. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could send some over. This is going to be really good. Yeah. It's one of my favorite curries, actually. Yeah. Yep. So, I actually, I didn't eat goat before I met Atul. Rarely ate it. And then when I met him, I realized this is one of his favorite things. So, even I started to eat it more. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to put some ginger garlic paste as well. This I bought it at the Indian store. You know, it's pre-dense, pre pre-blended. Mm -hmm. Oops, dropped a little here. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to drop, put that in here as well. And that cooks while it cooks. So how, we also talked about how does this, if you cook it without a pressure cooker? 
So if you don't have a pressure cooker, the only thing the only thing pressure cooker does is it quickens the entire process, right? Um, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can make it in a uh, uh, pot as well. And uh, what it's going to do is it takes a little more time as compared to uh, the pressure cooker, but you're going to have to keep adding water because that's one thing that's going to dry out soon. Mm. So, but yeah, uh, people can make it with pressure cooker as well, uh, without pressure cooker as well. I dropped some in there and I didn't want it to burn out, so that's why I had to wipe it off. Alright, gotta give it a little more time for the water to dry out so that. And you can also, I know you guys heard us say lamb, you can also use lamb for this. Yes, you can make it mm -hmm. with lamb as well. Uh, Hi, Diana, thank you for joining. <laughs> How's everybody Saturday been so far? Anyone doing anything fun? Oh yeah, are people going outside already? Anybody going outside, out and about? In California, we're not really going out as much. Yeah, there's a few uh, haircut salons, uh, hair salons and uh, nail salons opening up as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, what happens. Oh, it's raining. Where are you from, Charlene? Where are you um, coming in from? Cause it's hot where we are we're in california we're in california and it's super super hot here right now so where are you at that it's raining we can use some of the rain <laughs> yeah i'm gonna turn it back so they can see when you're gonna add in the stuff yeah it's gonna take a little right okay yep. so how long oh alberta Alberta Canada. Oh, wow. oh okay. okay. Nice. Well, thanks for joining. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you always been there? That's your hometown? And as you can see, goat takes a while to cook. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. Compared to fish, last week when we did fish, it was so like 30 easy. minutes? <laughs> less than, yeah, the fish took maybe like 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, yep. This is gonna take a while. That's what I taught Stephanie. I was like, did you move to Canada? <laughs> We would want to come visit Alberta sometime. Uh, we've been to Vancouver quite a few times. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't gone on the other side. Yeah, we went um, last year, actually December of 2019, we did a winter wonderland vacation. We did a road trip all the way to we, Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, we drove from California straight over to Vancouver and then we went all the way to Whistler. That was a long drive, but it was fun. We stopped in between like um, Oregon, Seattle. We took a lot of stops. Yeah, it was a far drive. <laughs> yeah, no, she's saying about the Canada road trip. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Vancouver was really good. And when we went in, we drove all the way to Whistler and there was uh, snow. So we really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yep. We were in Whistler. Uh, we, I, I wanted to do skiing, but uh, I didn't do skiing. We uh, were on the sled. We did that, we almost did half a day of just yeah. lead. So much fun. And uh, I think we'd gone there the week before Christmas, so it was like uh, they had a festival of lights mm -hmm. and everything. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, the whole drive through experience was a long time for us, but it was really fun. It was, it was, it yeah. was yep. yep. And I've been to Canada quite a few times, but this, this was our first one together. together yeah. And the first one in winter as well, yeah. so it was really a lot of fun. And then I think uh, when we went to Alaska, we stopped in Canada as well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we stopped, we stopped at, in uh, where Victoria. Canada? Victoria, Canada, when we did a cruise, yeah. Yeah, Victoria. That's Fresh looking Canada. good. It is, yes, it is. Uh, it's gonna take a little while uh, as you know it fries up. Uh, I'm gonna now put the okay. the red paste in here uh, as well so this was the mixture we made earlier with the chili powder yep. 
if you could give me you. some water, please. Yes. yes. So that goes in. Uh, I had these goat kidneys, so I'm going to drop those in as well. How much water do you want? I just brought a little bit. Fill it up, please. Okay. Or maybe a little less. Yeah, that's good. And then I have some salt here. And I'm, I'm clearly I have no, um, you know how it's going to turn out with the uh, flavor and stuff, but we'll see. It uh, will be good. What do you mean? You don't know. You make this all the time. Well, I never make it on camera, so. <laughs> well, that's not going to change the taste, right? <laughs> I don't know. And the other thing that we have is uh, saffron. And uh, saffron is one of the other ingredients that kind of gives it that red color as well. So. Actually, let me mix this up and then I'll put the saffron in. So I want to show you guys how it's looking. Oops, this is... Ooh, it's smelling really good in here. It I is. I tell you that. It is smelling really good. And the other thing that also makes a difference is we're not using our exhaust right now because it's going to make a lot of sound. But yeah, so this is saffron and I'm going to drop some saffron in here as well. Can you guys see how it's looking? <laughs> yeah, and a lot of water will dry out. Yeah. So, so that's that. And then the masala, mm -hmm. the garam masala, that's another thing that goes in as well. So I just use the same. Uh, mm -hmm spoon right here what's that that's the girl the mixture of all the masalas that so you had shown earlier the dry product that we talked about blending up that's what that was okay, so, yeah. so that and then uh, give it a stir yeah and this is quite a good amount of gold by the way this is gonna last us for this entire weekend so Oh, she never used her pressure cooker for the meat. Yeah, we always use it for meat because it just gets the process done a bit faster, especially if we're wanting to cook something quickly. The pressure cooker is good for that. Yeah, it really cooks it very fast and quickly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of time. So that's that. All right. Let me you show can, the you can pan camera, camera down. Yeah. So that's what it looks like, and we're going to cover it up in a bit before we open it up again. So how many whistles are you going to cover it and let it whistle? I, to be honest, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> this will probably take around 30 minutes or so. Yep. Uh, but we'll whisk, give it a couple of whistles uh, and then we'll try to open it and we'll see how it goes. So that's that. I'm going to close it off now. I have all, everything that's needed. But yeah, as you, could, as you saw, it was, you know, like really simple. You know, compared to some of the other Indian curries that I have made, uh, if you make just a regular traditional curry and stuff, it takes a lot of time because you have onions in there, you're frying the onions out, you're browning them, you're probably blending them and all kind of stuff. Yeah. You have yogurt, you have tomatoes, but this is like really easy, you know? Yeah. So, so, so there you had it. That's kind of um, Rogan Joe's getting started. Let me lower this back up for me here. And let me not turn off the camera like I did last time just now. Do you guys make any Indian dish? This is an Indian dish that we're making, Varun. We're making Rogan Josh right now. Is there something you would like to see us make? Something different? Can you fix this camera while I get the other stuff? Yes, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have the goat going, and now I thought we should make 
a drink but before I'm I do that I forgot to tell you guys about the dessert because that's another one so I'm gonna move the camera again good god we have to get used to this stuff so we're making kofi for dessert and what you want to do is you want to add because it's just two of us so we're not adding a lot of stuff we're just making for two people so I have two cups of milk here and I'm gonna put this to boil and then reduce so I have to reduce to like almost half of that so I have it on high and let this boil so I'm just gonna let this simmer away here boil so when it gets like half then we'll come back and look at it so we have the curry going we have the milk going and then we want to make a drink so in summertime there is a good drink that most people make if you're from India do you know what drink I'm talking about what's a cooling and refreshing drink that we make to kind of cool you off in the hot weather Varun are you there or Vishaf, what's the drink that we make to cool you off when it's hot? Yep, you got, you got it, Laura. So, yep, we use um, lassi. So we're going to make mango lassi. And before I actually make the lassi, I want it, I know, can you, Laura, is the music too loud in the background, guys? Hopefully the music is not too loud. So before we made this, I know a lot of things are happening and a lot is going on in the world. And that's one of the reasons I actually wore this outfit today is because <laughs> part of it is to show our cultural diversity, you know, and some of the things I'm wearing is where I'm from. And I wanted to tell, not where I'm from, but where my husband is from. So I'll talk a little bit about what Indian tradition and clothing are. So I am wearing a shalwar kameez right now so this is a normal indian outfit that you'll see people wear if they're in india these bangles my mother-in-law actually gave them to me and the pressure cooker is just going off in the back and if you guys see for most people not everyone but for women if they're married they will wear something called a mangal sutra and basically it's a necklace that their husband puts on them when they get married so this is mine I'm wearing my garland of love from my husband and then they also wear sindoor I don't wear it all the time but I'm wearing it today because I'm making Indian food and this is just an earring you can get this anywhere online it's another Indian jewelry piece that you can wear so and a bindi as well yeah and I have a bindi so it's also known as a tickly or a bindi it's something you wear so this is kind of like almost like a traditional wear and people wear this normal if they're just at home you can dress up like this maybe you won't wear these heavy earrings or wear lighter ones but it's just what it looks like a little bit of an Indian outfit what do you have on? I just have a kurta on that's yeah. all <laughs> I don't have a bindi or anything yeah guys just put on like a kurta hey Bella welcome thank you for coming in and joining us but yeah so that's a little bit about our outfit and what you wear if you're in India and I will talk about and not everybody wear this people do wear regular shirt pants also so, what I'm doing? Yeah. so I'm gonna make the mango last thing you want to bring some ice babe I have you have it right here okay so the first thing you're gonna need for the let's see is oh, that's a bit too much two cups of yogurt plain yogurt in there then you want to bring some water for me so you could add milk or you could add water if you like we're adding water today not milk and then i have here one and a half mangoes cut up depending on how sweet you want it or how much you want it's not you feel comfortable to mix you can use two mangoes if you want to and then i'll also add a little bit of sugar you do not have to add the sugar i'm just adding a little bit i think with a lot of indian cooking mm -hmm. uh, there is no measurements you're just yeah. putting in yeah and over time i think with any cooking you get the hand like my mom is one of those people when I didn't know how to cook, she's always a pinch of this, a pinch of that. I'm like, a pinch of what? How about a teaspoon and a tablespoon? But they just don't cook like that. And then once I start cooking, even I realize I'm doing it that way. One cup of water. And it's very nice. 
noisy in here today. Right. So I'm going to keep it here. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. This guy, <laughs> and then, as you can see, my wife never makes. As you can see, I'm yet. not the. There we go. to do um, Indian meal today we decided to keep the drink and everything that way so we didn't um, make any alcohol beverage And this is a mango lassi, guys. A mango lassi. Here you go. Ooh, that looks good. Cheers. Cheers. And this is really, really good for summertime. Yeah, that's a good idea. What do you think, Adam? Can I add some alcohol to it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I never thought about that, but yeah, I think that yeah. you can do that. Oh, this is good. Yeah. So this is what the lassi is like. Really easy and super, super easy to make. And it's really good in the hot weather. Okay, so let's go check on the milk. This is the milk. That's the milk for the kufi, but it has to boil down. And once it boils down, actually, because I'll let you guys see how long it takes, but once it boils down, we'll add nuts. You can add any nuts of your liking. We have cashew, you can add pista. Maybe not peanut. You can use almond nut, pista nut, cashew nut, and then we add some cardamom powder also. So we're going to add both of those to the milk once the milk thicken. But it's still so, pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, whatever milk you have, you want to reduce it to at least a one-fourth. One-third to a one-fourth, you know, depending on how creamy you want your lassi to be, uh, kulfi to be, right? Uh, so then it takes a while. Uh, I, and uh, what we did was we made some kulfi the yeah. other day. Because kulfi is like a frozen ice cream, uh, Indian ice cream, you can call it as. So we made it the other day and we have it in the fridge, uh, but you know, we wanted to show how we make it. So that's why we have the milk in here. Uh, it's going to take a while to reduce. Once it's done, uh, reduced to maybe like a ha um, less than a half, close to a one third, one fourth. Then we add a little, uh, when we add some sugar to it mm -hmm. and then we'll add all the uh, nuts and the uh, cardamom powder as yeah. was mentioning. Yeah. So once this boil down to half, you add the nuts, you add the cardamom powder, then you also add some sugar and then you have to let it cool. When it cools down a bit, then I'll show you guys the finished product. You want to bring the finished product for them? Right away. What else is going on for everyone? We have been showing you what are some of the things we're cooking. What are some of the stuff you guys cook? Or what have you been cooking during this quarantine to stay busy? You know what, Charlene, it would have been a good idea if I didn't use the pressure cooker right now and <laughs> all the noise. <laughs> but if we had to cook this in the actual pot, it will take about an hour and a half before it's done, fully done. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, uh, is the noise the reason why you wouldn't use the pressure cooker? Skip the dishes. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to show, last week I showed you guys, what, we're smoking our first barbecue tomorrow. Oh, nice. Oh, that's going to be fun. Hopefully, the weather is nice to where you are, so it's going to be much more, you know, outdoorsy. We love the barbecue. We actually, was a few weeks ago, right? Three weeks back, yeah. About three weeks back, we also barbecued. The weather was just, the sun was coming out. And I still got right onto his grill. 
Hey yep. guys, thank you for joining us. Hi. How do you say your name? It ends with skates, but I want to make sure I'm calling you the right name. Because some people have a different name. And for those of you, a couple of you just joined us. We just made a mango lassi. Basically, we had yogurt, mango, sugar, and some water here. We blend it up and we add a, some ice to a glass. And then we pour it in and it's a great drink to drink during summertime. And we also have our meat going in the pressure cooker. Rogue and then and we, Josh. yeah, Rogan Josh. We're making Rogan Josh for those of you who just joined us. And then we have our milk boiling because that's gonna make an Indian dessert. And I'm gonna show you guys a dessert, but last week what we did was I showed you guys a place setting. I'm gonna wait for that to stop yeah. a bit, yeah. So I did last week, I showed you guys a place setting, how to make like, if you're having like a date night, because Saturday is our date night, so we are dressed up for our date night. And I normally like to put something on the table to just make it look a little bit different. So I change around some of the things. And one of the things we do do a lot is we travel. So sometimes depending on the cuisine that you're making, I try to use some of the stuff I have in my house, in my home. So I don't have to go out and buy things in particular. So these, the stuff that I'm going to show you are some of the stuff I actually brought back from India. So I'm going to take the camera over there and show you a simple table setting for us. So if you saw last week, we, I already told you guys, these are really easy to get your hands on. You get this at the Dollar Tree. Then you just put some napkins out. But check these out. These are some handmade rangoli that you can just use to put on the center of your table. So I have one there, another one there, another one there. And then we got this Taj Mahal while we were traveling in India. So I thought it was a nice piece to put on the table. And you can just put things that you have, and that's what the dining area looked like for us tonight. It also gives us a chance to talk about some of the things. You can put out stuff that you have. So it just reminds you of, you know, the place you were at. And these are stuff you can always reuse. And there's a little light in the Taj Mahal, so it's lighting up if you look really close. Yep. So that's like a simple table setup if you want to do something for yourself. Since we have the team as Indian food, we set it up. Hey, Sonam, did you see the table setup we just did? Yes, we have been to Taj Mahal. We were just talking about that the other day. We have been there and it's really, really beautiful. One of the things they do a lot is we take all kinds of pictures when we're traveling. So we were talking about some of the pictures we took while we were there. Somebody was in the group and they were talking about pictures. And while we're in the Taj Mahal, one of the things they did is we were taking pictures like this, pictures like this. We're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So I have the uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to try this dessert. We'll let you know how it comes out. Yes, you should definitely. So here's the kulfi, what it actually looks like when you put the milk in something. So we did have, funny story, we had our actually containers that you're supposed to put the kulfi in, but I don't know what happened if we tossed it out or what, and today when I was ready for it, I couldn't find it. So we ended up just putting it in a regular dessert cup. So go ahead. Yep. I'll we'll show you guys what so it yeah, looks like. So yeah, this was in the fridge uh, the other day. But I just have a little warm water. I'm going to keep this here on it for a bit. Thank you, Sonam. <laughs> Oops, actually, there's a lot of warm water. Oh, you got a plate here, ready? Right? Yeah. Bring it out. So this is just to, like, loosen it up a bit. Mm-hmm. Kids love this dessert, by the way. Oh yeah, growing up in India, this was one of the favorite things that we would uh, do. You know, we do uh, mostly just bring it from the Indian store. Uh, not Indian store, but uh, well, in India, everything is an Indian store, right? So there you go. Uh, hold on, let me move the screen a bit to show you guys what I'm doing. Right, and then there you go. Whoops. You need to soak it a little bit more. You think you got it? Ooh, let's hope this come out the way it did. 
All right, let's give it a little more warm water. Watch it, watch it. So of course you can put this in the fridge to kind of cool down. Well, we're just doing it right now. So that's why we're having it in some water to get it out. No, you need yeah. a little hot water and then there you go. There and you go. That. Let me show this. So this is the cool fee guys. See all the nuts around it? So that's that cashew nut. If you have almond nut, pista. Pistachio. Pistachio. So that was the milk we're boiling in the back that we have going right now that's where we add the stuff and once it cool down you put it in your container you freeze it overnight or so for a few hours and then you have a good yummy delicious cool feet to enjoy oh that looks good mm, wow that's, that's good very good yeah i'll keep this back because we're going to use it later keep it later yep Thank you, Sonam. Was that a comment for me? Looking great in my Indian attire. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know that was for Goody. So do you guys have any questions so far about anything we're making? Anything? So interesting, I've never heard of it. Oh yeah, you should definitely try it, Bella. It's super good. The dessert you're talking about, right? Any, oh, I was asking, do you guys have any questions for us? Anything about the Rogan Josh, the mango lassi, the cool feet? Any questions or just in general? Yeah, and it's really, really good. It's super easy to make also. Yeah, it just takes a little while, but it's yeah, the milk the takes a little bit while to boil down. That's the only thing. How is your goat going? Well, I turned it off, but okay. it's going to take a little while to uh, cook. Okay. Yeah. And we'll let this milk cool over here. Yeah. We added the stuff in it. The rice is going to be done in a bit as well. Oops, okay. Turn off. Do you want to bring the naan so I can show them that? Do you want to put, do you want to put the sugar in it and okay. put all of those stuff in there? Grab me the sugar. <laughs> so you guys already saw the dessert the end product of it but i'm just showing you since we have the milk and stuff going on right now still because we're making some extra one things are starting to... yeah so we're still in quarantine here but um things are slowly opening up but there's a lot of other stuff happening right now in california this is the cardamom can you give me some sugar just about how much sugar do you add in here at two? Maybe four or so. Four, depending on how sweet you want if it you to have, be. You have two cups of sugar, so maybe like at least a half a cup of sugar, or two cups of milk, so at least a half a cup of sugar probably. Depending on if you want it too sweet, you can add some more, less, some less, that's good. That's, Woo! Yes. Okay. I spilled milk. All right, so. Basically, the dessert that we just showed you guys, this is what it looks like when you're making it. And then we leave this to sit out until it cools down. And that's going to be a while from now <laughs> for it to cool down. So you want to bring out the other thing? So we'll show them that. Yes, it is spelled exactly that way. Cool feet. Yep. Hang on one second, guys. Okay, you want me to bring this over there or? I'll, I'll get it here. Okay, so I will just opened up the pressure cooker. I'll show you guys what that look like in a minute when you're ready for me. Yeah. Okay. So this is since, uh, leave it for a bit. Mm -hmm. It yeah. still is hot. Yeah. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of ways you can eat 
the Rogan Josh. We had the rice going on, which we showed you guys in the beginning. And you can also make roti or naan, but we're not gonna make that from scratch today. So we just order, we just get this at the store. So this is roti. If you wanted to just have it with roti, you can. But we like naan, so you can just buy a packet of these naan breads at Costco. You can get both of these at Costco to eat the Rogan Josh with. And we're gonna, basically you just heat this for a little bit, for a couple of minutes on each side, and then you're ready. The roti is uncooked, but the naans are cooked. Yeah. Alright. Let me see what's going on over here. This is done, but wow. since it's hot, the oil is gonna take a while to yeah. you know, come out. But so yeah. I'll still show. Hi, welcome guys. See some of you are joining us now, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So that's the uh, Rogan Josh. And this is like really, uh, you know, the meat has become very soft. As you can see, this is really still hard, but you know, there you go. It has become, you know, all kind of hot, soft. Ooh <laughs> it's really hot. He burned himself to show you guys that, okay? <laughs> and it tastes good. <laughs> it tastes good, yes. That's good. So this is what it looks like. It will take a little bit before the oil rise to the top. It's already rising to the top, as you can see. Yeah, because we cooked it under pressure, you know, it takes a while for the oil to rise up. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, like, if you want to try the roti, you don't have, if you wanted to make it, you can just use flour. You'd have to get some flour and water. And basically you just mix it a little bit until it gets a certain consistency and that you can make roti. But instead of doing that, you can just try this one or try any roti packet to make it. So you have that going on, the heat the naan. So today we'll just do the naan, okay? We have the rice almost done yep. as well. It's like almost done in like a few minutes here. If you want to show it out. Yeah, when you put it in the bowl, once it's done. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> so what else? What else is going on with everybody? We have been showing you what we're cooking the past few weeks. What have you guys been up to? Did I know? Oh no, she's not here today. But someone did the fish. They said they were going to make the mahi-mahi. Last week, if you guys missed it out, we did mahi-mahi. It's still on Instagram. I still post the video so you can check it out there. I think Charlene said she lost connection. Okay. So we're going to move over pretty soon. I'm going to move over here so we can do the naan once Atul is getting his, he's putting his goat out. He's plating it. What other Indian food do you guys like? I know Stephanie, you wanted us to do the Rogan Josh, so we did that. What's some other Indian food or what's some other cuisine you guys like trying? Last week we did, we had an Italian night already. We did uh, kind of a Spanish team a little bit and then we're doing this now. I think next week we'll probably do some kind of different cuisine again, maybe. Yeah, maybe from yeah. one of the places we visited. How yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do something from one of the places we visited probably make a cuisine from somewhere we have visited. So one of the things that we do is mm -hmm. whenever we go outside, we eat food there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when my wife comes back, she craves that cuisine. Oh yeah, korma, you like korma. You like anything with coconut. Oh, I know this really good um, recipe that you can make with coconut. Uh, have you heard of coconut rice, Charlene? It's a thing, by the way, if you haven't heard about it. Thing? <laughs> For beginners, what would you recommend for beginners? Maybe korma, even rogan josh is like yeah. really easy. So I don't know, Bella, if you missed the um, rogan josh recipe we just made, it's really, really easy. We heated some ghee in a pan, and then, well, of course, if, if you, you'd look back at this, I'd upload it. It was really, really easy to make this one. It just takes a little bit of time because it's goat, so it took a while to cook. I have had it in a Thai restaurant. Oh yeah, okay, so you know what I'm talking about then, Charlene. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, so we were talking, um, Atul and I, we love to travel and wherever we go, we like to do different cuisine, we like to try the different places, meals. And when we come back, we always try to do that. So maybe next week we'll make something from somewhere we have been to. But if you guys want to see something, do recommend. I saw Korma, you talked about Korma, Charlene. You ready for me to come over there? Okay, I'll put the rice over there. Okay, I think that's really hot. You will, I thought you were going to do the bananas. Oh, yeah. Well, Let me go help the tool a little bit. I'm doing all the talking here. Hang on. Let that cool down. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys something fun that I have been doing while... <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. It's a big mess in this kitchen, but we're trying to... This is what we do every Saturday, so that's why we're doing it live. But something I have been doing while being at home is doing my nails. I've been ordering these um, stick-on nails. Let me show you guys a few I got. Check these out. I got these. Things to keep me entertained while I am at home. And I got these guys. So that's what I've been up to while I'm home, not doing anything. I've been doing my nails. I'm actually not somebody who likes to do my nails all the time. And then another funny story. Atul did this hand and look at this nail. It's crooked. And you know what he said? He told me it's the finger. I'm like, really? It wasn't crooked the whole time. <laughs> but I think he put this on this way, but he said it's crooked. It lasts for two weeks. For two weeks, and let me it show depends. you. I don't think she's gonna keep it. Let me show you the glue. Weeks. I use this glue right here. So I don't know. This glue I use, it lasts for two weeks. Yeah. Hey guys, those of you who are just joining us, welcome. So I'm gonna make the non. We're gonna make the non, so I'm gonna move the camera over here now yeah perfect. so i have some butter in here as well Even knife yeah give me one and these nuns are pre-made so you know there's not much to be done on these these are like really good uh Just put some butter on my pan. And I'm gonna let these guys sit in here for a bit. You can just keep it like that as well. Uh, I just like a little more butter in this, so that's why I make them with butter. Just that. So these are done. What are some questions? I like none, yeah. <laughs> Is it Mayuri or Mishra? Mayuri. Mayuri, okay. Thanks for joining us, Mayuri. <laughs> so those guys, and some more. I'll make two Oops. more. Whoops. Just that. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> oh, tell your hubby we said hi also. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you. We made some uh, goat Rogan Josh as well. And you guys see how fast these are really quick to cook and easy to cook because it's already 
basically done. Yeah, actually, if you don't want, you don't need to put the butter in as well. Oh, yeah, you don't yeah. have to. Uh, you could even just pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds and mm -hmm. they come out good because these are cooked already. These guys are done too. I think we should be good, right, honey? Should I make yep. a couple more? No, nope, that should be good. We'll just okay. bring it over here so I can show the plate up. Yep. All right. So the camera over. All right, guys. I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay. So here we go. We have the rice. Then you have the goat, Rogan Josh. the Rogan Josh, Rogan Josh, and then we have the naan also. We have the mango lassi and the kofi. So that's what we're about to have for dinner right now. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining us. Before we wrap up, any do you guys have any questions or anything about what we just made? Cool. Cool. So we want to tell you guys thank you, thank you so much for joining us for this live video. We really, really appreciate it and hope you guys can join us again next week and we'll probably be making something from one of the countries we have went to. Yeah, I know. You have to come join us right now, Charlene. We're going to go enjoy this super hot meal right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see one person just joined us. So let me show you the meal really quick. Aninda, this is what we made. You missed it out. So that's what we made and we're wrapping up now. So we're getting out of here. You want to say bye? All right. Bye, everybody. Thank Thanks you for everyone. joining us. Take care. <laughs> we'll do something next weekend. Next Saturday, make sure you join us again. And since you missed it, you can still check it back out, Anita. We're going to upload it on Instagram. Okay? Bye, guys. Bye for now. Bye.